an alarming case out of North Mississippi where investigators say a man admitted to killing his mother. Tonight, Marshall County investigators say Brian Wells is charged with murder. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skirlock and I'm Greg Hurst. As it turns out, Wells was actually arrested and released not long after he was initially accused of the crime. WRG Shea Arthur explains this bizarre timeline. Tonight, 48 year old Brian Wells is accused of murder. Oh, it's very disturbing. I mean, I worked a lot of scenes in my career and seen a lot of stuff. But this was this was pretty. This was pretty horrific. It was terrible. The victim identified as his mother, 66 year old Catherine Tipler. Detectives say she was killed inside a home off Price Loop in Marshall County. She died from blunt force trauma to the head with some type of sharp object. Um, we believe that we had found that instrument inside the residence, but we're waiting to do um, DNA testing and so forth to confirm that. Kelly McMillan, lead investigator with the Marshall County Sheriff's Department, hasn't released a motive for the accused crime, but says Wells admitted to it. At some point uh, during our conversation, he did get upset about what he had, the crime he had committed. Investigators believe the homicide happened Friday. After that same day, he was pulled over and arrested for DUI. He was released and went back to the residence. And once he got back to the residence, he didn't report or didn't say anything to anybody. He went through the residence. Um, we believe he stole her debit card along with her car. We had no knowledge of anything happening until uh, till the next day. And then the next day is when she was discovered by one of her relatives. Deputies believe he went somewhere in Memphis. Once they gathered more clues, they issued a be on the lookout for Wells. He was located in Olive Branch and taken into custody. McMillan commending multiple agencies for working together to help solve a tragedy. We want to thank everybody from the ATF to Memphis Police Department, the Shelby County Sheriff's Department, Olive Branch, the Soda County, all the surrounding counties for their assistance in helping us get this uh, matter handled as quick as possible. Shea Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. Now, McMillan says Wells has previously served time in prison for manslaughter, and the murder charge Wells is facing could be upgraded to capital murder. This is the fourth homicide in Marshall County this year.